Hello guys, today we will be talking about the vehicles that got a buff in patch 9.17.1. There's a lot of changes there with the heavy tanks, so we're going to be talking a little bit about those. I hope you find this educational and let's get into it. So let's compare the armor here. Both the Type 4, 5 and Type 4 and the mouse got a significant armor buff, especially the mouse benefits from it the most because of the angling possibilities it has. The health points amongst the tanks also got buffed. You can see the mouse now has 3.2k HP and the Type 5 has 2.9. First tank we're going to talk about is the mouse. The German Heavy got a nice buff to the gun reload and the gun stabilization, making it a powerhouse in the current meta. We will look at the stats with the top configuration which all the Pro League players have available to them. You can see it has great reel of time and aiming time. The mouse is one of the tanks where I recommend not using V-Step on because even without it, the aiming is great, it snaps it very well and you should replace it with either spawn liner to help you against artillery shots or HE shots or optics for increased view range. Here we're going to show you a little YOLO play. That's the only way to call it, to test the armor of the mouse. Just watch and enjoy how it completes Heavy Tank 15, which a lot of people struggle with without a single problem. During this clip, you will notice heat shots can still do damage if they manage to hit the turret face. But if they don't, if they hit the side armor or the angled armor, they aren't effective whatsoever. This is the mouse's greatest strength. When it gets to angle, it's turret very well. It's almost impossible to penetrate unless you can see that turret face. So the total result here after the battle is 18,000 damage blocked before the mouse went down. <laughs> With pretty much half the enemy team shooting at him, that's pretty impressive. That makes it ideal for the blocked missions for personal reward tanks such as 260, etc., which a lot of people struggle with. So now, let's talk about the Japanese Heavy. They got an armor buff as well, and it got a different gun. It's a derp gun for both the Type 5 and the Type 4, which has 1,100 alpha with normal shells and 1,400 alpha with premium rounds. The downside of this gun will be the penetration. It only has 75 pen, which means you can only pen lightly armored tanks or if you get to shoot the engine of a tank. Let's watch some clips now and show what kind of damage the Type 5 can actually do. You can see here that snapshots can do a monstrous amount of damage towards lightly armored tanks as the gorilla just disappears from the map. Different example here. You can see how the aiming circle is pretty big, but you can still manage to hit those pixel shots onto tanks. A perfect example here of a lightly armored tank unaware of the Type 5 and the Type 5 just removing him off the map. It works very well against those German tank destroyers. The Type 5 works extremely well versus light tanks or lightly armored mediums such as Bachat, etc. It has no problems removing them in one shot if you manage to hit them on the side or the front. Remember the tracks? Not gonna do much. Now you can see the Type go up against a heavily armored tank destroyer. It can't pen an E4 from the front, but it still does a nice amount of damage with every shot because of the high alpha the gun has available to it. Secondary tip, as you can see, don't round the Type 5. Uh, it just doesn't really work out well in your favor. Here you can see a Kranwagen is trying to push up against the Type 5 and he will expose his side. And then you can see the power of the Type 5 Heavy when it gets to shoot a lightly armored tank in the side. A massive hit for 1,309 damage. That's insane. 
similar situation here. As the emo tries to flank, he gets a massive amount of HP removed by the Type 5 Heavy. He pretty much goes down towards the one-shot. One of the best and most funny things to do with this gun is trying to blind shoot people. Because no matter what, if you hit them, you will do damage. As you can see, the Udash tried to play one of the standard positions here on steps for a tank destroyer and just got removed. Playing these tanks in Platoon is a lot of fun. You can double tap people, but you can also go spot with one while the other one is sniping. You can see here, the gun, the aiming circle of it is really big, but you can still manage to hit those shots if they go dead center. It didn't do a massive amount of damage, but still, it was pretty much half HP of the Skoda. Talking about pixel shots, watch and see what happens to the Scorpion G as he tries to shoot at the spotting Type 5. Let's say it didn't work out for him. The one thing to watch out for with this gun, guys, is it has a big splash radius. This is good and bad. When shooting at tanks, be careful that your allies are not near the enemy tank or you might up splashing them both or in the worst case, killing your ally in the process as you will find out in this example. Always make sure you think very well about the shots you take and your teammates that are near. As I said, be careful with the shots and make sure you don't end up in similar situation as demonstrated in the clip here. As always guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and it's gave you a little bit of an example what you can do with those buffed heavy tanks. They are mean, they are nasty. Use them well in randoms. I hope this uh, came to show how good they are now and as always, see you on the battlefield.